Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's deep clean video. I've got so many things that I need to do here in this living room. I'm going to be cleaning top to bottom, corner to corner. This living room is so disgusting. I've even got cobwebs on my ceiling fan. So it was definitely time for me to just go ahead and take care of this room. I'm actually going to be doing another video this week for my kitchen. I'm going to be doing the same thing, but let me tell you, that took me a lot longer than this living room because there was a lot more things that I had to tackle. So if you need a deep cleaning video motivation for your kitchen or any room for that matter, um, make sure that you're subscribed and have that notification bell clicked. That way you can come right back and watch that video when it comes out. So I've got to, um, get this carpet cleaned first and foremost. I don't know if you can see right there, but Bodie had a treat and he made a nasty mess in my carpet with it. And I was like, great, cool. That's wonderful. I had nothing else to do on this Saturday. So why not spend the entire day cleaning my living room? So this is going to be one of those cleanings. Like if you remember when you were smaller and you got up on a weekend and it was like the crack of dawn and you heard music coming out of the living room and you were like, oh my gosh, mom's on the prowl. She's cleaning today. I need to stay out of her way. That's one of those types of cleanings that we're doing. It's also one of those cleanings that's like nobody notices what you've done, but you spent an entire day cleaning it, I'm here to tell you that I see you all. I see you, I appreciate you, and you all have done a very good job with what you did. Um, I appreciate you, and I will tell you thank you, and you did a wonderful job, because sometimes when I clean like this, I just want to like point out to everybody what I've done, because just walking into the room, you wouldn't know it. Like I literally just feel like taking everybody by the hand and walking them around the room and just pointing out everything that I've just spent all day doing. I don't know why. And that's just how I feel sometimes. But I went ahead and started by getting Buddy's bed in the washing machine. It was totally disgusting. And I've had some people say to me um, when they see me wash that, because I do use like detergent and fabric softener. They're like, you're not supposed to do that because their noses are very sensitive. I'm here to tell you, Bodie does not care. If you've never seen Bodie before, if you've never met him, Bodie doesn't care. It doesn't bother him. He's perfectly fine. And I desperately need that to get it clean and smelling good. So... After I got that in the washer, I went ahead and tackled my ceiling fan because I want to work top to bottom in this room. And nine times out of 10, I used my pillowcase method, but I could not find one. I don't know what happened to them, but I couldn't find one for me to use. So I just went ahead and used the little adapter on my vacuum and you saw all the stuff that it got off of there. And then I went ahead and used my Murphy's oil soap that cleans and nourishes and protects your wood. I went ahead and just wiped it all down with that. And not only does it get it really nice and clean and shiny, but once you turn your fan back on, it just, it just smells so incredibly good. So I wanted to go ahead and get that taken care of. That way I can go ahead and move on to my next project. And like I said, I'm tackling every single thing in this video. So if you needed some motivation, this is going to be it for you. I'm going to do um, some music for you guys, but I've had some people say that my last videos they really enjoyed because I talked more and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind to talk. If you've, if you've been around me for a while, you know, I'm a talker. So I'm going to go ahead now and get everything picked up out of the floor. I'm going to move this couch out. I'm going to tackle my windows and the carpets are going to be cleaned here in just a little bit. So sit back and relax or work alongside me. I'm here to motivate you and to be your uh, company for the day. I hope you guys end up enjoying this and you get tons of ideas. Like if there's things that you don't think about cleaning, if you saw it in this video, I'm happy to, you know, just spread the love, spread the cleaning love. So I'm going to go ahead and play you some music, but I will be right back and we'll talk a whole bunch more about a whole bunch more stuff, cleaning and, you know, non-cleaning stuff. She the one that's moving on She said I love you And I just think I'm too far gone It's like I know you And I've been in this room too long And I'ma show you Like I've been waiting all along Yeah. So what they gonna say Caught up walking over your place On the move let's go Waist on the high hips and the heads turn slow Yeah. So why you tripping Like what you sipping And where your home is Sun's down in a minute I know. I know, I know, That body grooving, like she the one that's moving on. She said I love you, and I just think I'm too far gone. It's like I know you, and I've been in this room too long. And I'ma show you, like I've been waiting all along, yeah. Slipping the 
sauce and I'll slap in the doses Can't seem to focus long so we'll be floating Get carried away, we'll take a play Off to the sea, hang by the trees These are the things in my mind, let's go, let's go Your hair whisked back in the wind, roll down the windows so as you can see, my windows were disgusting and I need to clean out these window sills a lot more often. We actually have like a small little hole in the screen of this window that we need to have fixed, but that just makes room for little stink bugs and leaves and all kinds of nasty stuff to get in there. So we, we just need to go ahead and get that fixed. But I decided to go ahead and vacuum up everything that I could. I sprayed it down with some cleaner and then I used my little Bissell steamer. I love that thing. You can get so many things clean with that. I promise you, if you've got one, and you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have one, go and check them out. I think I have it linked in my Amazon store. But anytime that a window is open, Bodie is going to be in it for as long as you let him. He's just literally the cutest thing ever. Um, but I don't like him being around there when I'm using like the chemicals and stuff. But inevitably, you know, he's up my tail 24 seven and he's going to be right there. But I went ahead and got them all folded out. That way I could clean them. Now, another thing that I didn't do is clean my curtains and I should have I don't know why I didn't to be honest with you it just it didn't cross my mind and I don't know why they're right there and I touched them like 48 times in this video but I didn't clean my curtains on this day but I will promise you that I will go back and do them but these windows were just gross and I don't know how or why that my front windows get a lot more grosser than my back windows I don't know science whether I don't know what it is but they were gross and I needed to go ahead and get those cleaned so I did that and also if you see along the edge of my window right there it looks dirty and that's because it is but it's also like that fuzzy stuff that's on the side of your window I guess like for insulation you can't clean that I mean if you can I don't know how so I don't um so there's that a real life moment in my house I just I don't clean it I've tried to wipe it before and whatever I use with it, it just kind of gets stuck on that little felty stuff I don't even know what it's called but I don't clean it um also please don't pay attention to my front porch I have not cleaned that yet and I decided not to do like a whole uh, video for fall front porch decor this year I just didn't it, I wasn't feeling it um so while I was down there doing that I noticed look at my wall socket this is disgusting so I was like all right cool now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the baseboards we're going to clean all the baseboards in here so I just used some spray cleaner and a really hot wet uh, cleaning cloth and also I feel the need I don't know why I feel the need to tell you guys this I guess it's because I'm putting all my information out here on the webs but if you see along the top of my baseboard, that's not dirt. That's the color that the walls used to be. And that's our horrible job at taping off um, baseboards when we paint. So that little bit didn't get painted and we never went back to finish it. We also never went back to paint our trim. So we're going to be doing that very soon. I think we're actually going to be changing the color of our walls here shortly. Also, this is like just the very front two inches that are underneath that was underneath my couch. All the dog hair disgusting I love him I would lay down on train tracks for him but if he doesn't stop shedding all that hair somewhere I'm gonna shave him bald um I'm just kidding don't don't come for me for that um uh, but yeah we are gonna go ahead and vacuum all of this up as best as we can and then I'm gonna move the couch back so I can finish the rest of the living room now I'm not gonna shampoo the carpet underneath the couch and I'll tell you why that's because I would need to have somewhere to put the couch while I do that. And if you've seen my house, I have nowhere to put that couch. So I'm just going to vacuum it really, really good and go ahead and move it back. And then um, that way everything else will be open so I can go ahead and shampoo the carpets then. This is for you. Yeah. yeah. She got a smile, got me waiting for the weekend. Couple tests, spend a check, tell her, bring a friend. She got a taste on her lips like a sweet blend. Leaving work early just to see you again. Like I got somebody, let him all know like a blue confetti. What you got, little Niles gonna get him. Top 10 billboards already read it now. Oh, what you know where the kitties at walking up on the toes? What you say when the living don't stop? Back 
it out like girl can act. Bring it on up like damn that ass. Girls gon' check them out, bounce my pad. Sipping my drink like clown can dance. Go dumb. I be tweaking to the morning. I be rolling, but the pen's got me writing. Off like a throne, gon' get it. Beer thrown, let it hang. Girl gon' set it down. She got a smile, got me waiting for the weekend. Couple texts, spend a check, tell her bring a friend. She got a taste on the lips like a sweet thing. Leaving work early just to see you again. I was rolling up beside. They was barking like dogs from the other night. Jump aside, roll with me and live a little bit. Couple girls that I know, they was talking venomous. Hands gripped tight on the hips. Blue red lights, then we did, yeah. Spin myself quicker than I'm talking. Now she's calling me Buster, yeah. What you know where the kitty's at walking up on the toes? What you say when the living don't stop? I be making my way, yeah, yeah. So you guys have seen me like vacuum this couch a gazillion times and I think I've also talked to you guys about the little green machine that I bought purposefully so that I could clean my couch with it and I'm not in love with that thing. It just does not have the suction power that I feel like it needs to have um, and I it it sprays out a lot of liquid, okay, but it doesn't suck it back up. So then I feel like all of that wetness is just sitting in my couch and then it just makes it smell worse. I don't know. Anyway, so I decided I still needed to clean this couch somehow. So what I did in that little bottle, I put some really, really hot water. I also did like, I don't know, a, just a drizzle of Dawn soap, not enough to like make the whole bottle soapy. But then I also added a little bit of that OxyClean, the liquid detergent that I've been uh, loving so much. I don't know why it has taken me this long to get on that train, but I love that stuff so much. But I went ahead and put a little bit of that in there. I sprayed the couch down. I let it sit for a minute and then I got a clean cloth and I got that soaking wet and then I poured a little bit of that solution on there and literally just went over and wiped the entire couch down so I know that I got some dirt off of there because I could see it on the cloth but it also smelled so much better and I felt better not like literally dousing it with a ton of water knowing that I wasn't going to be able to get it back out so if you guys have any tips on cleaning that um kind of couch it's just I don't know it's a regular couch I don't know what kind of material it is um but now the bottom cushions, they do unzip and I can take them off. I have thrown them in the washer before a couple of times. But the last time that I did that, I noticed a hole in the corner and I was like, no, ma'am, we're not doing that again. Because if I pull one of those covers out of the dryer one time and it's completely falling apart and then I have to go out and buy a new couch, I'm going to be highly upset. So I haven't done that since then. I just kind of spot clean it and, um, I have thought about getting another couch. This one isn't that old. I just bought this like three years ago, three or four years ago. And I'm honestly thinking that a leather couch would probably be best in my house just because of Bodie and stuff like that. I think they're beautiful leather couches, but I just don't feel like they're cozy. Does that make sense? Um, and I just feel like they're cold all the time and I don't, I need something cozy. So I don't know. We'll have to figure something out eventually, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the baseboards everywhere else now that I can get to them. Also, I did do my walls not too long ago. I didn't film it because sometimes there's just things that you want to clean and get it done without filming it. And if you guys know, like a lot of my YouTube friends, if you watch this, you know what I'm talking about. You sometimes feel guilty when you clean stuff and you don't feel it, be, film it because you feel like you're like missing an opportunity to share that motivation. But then again, sometimes you just, you just want to clean your house and not have to worry about camera angles and batteries dying and things like that. So I didn't film that, but I did recently just um, go over with that little moth that I have and cleaned my walls. So I just kind of like spot cleaned any kind of dust or anything like that that I saw. I also went and did all of my doors, door jams, and wiped those down. Those things just get gross. I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe the next house I have, I just want all flat doors. That's, that's going to be my goal. I don't want those little nooks and crannies in there because they just, they harbor dust. Um, also, you guys know that I had some good music playing in my house and we had to have a little dance party and there were many more that I don't think that I caught on film, <laughs> but Bodie loves it when we have dance parties and you, you guys know that I'm dancing all the time. I think it was, what, oh, I know exactly what song it was. Do you remember if you're old like I am? It was, um... The band is called Nucleus. What is the name of the song? Oh, I don't remember it, but it was like one, it was the song that played all the time at the skating rink. If you, if you went, 
Oh, uh, was it Jam On It? I think it was Jam On It by Nucleus. I think that's what it's called. You guys have to look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm 98.9% positive that's what was planned. So we had to have a little dance off. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get everything wiped down now. And also, I do remember I spent like a good 20 minutes on my TV stand. I took everything out. I cleaned the doors. I cleaned the little nooks and crannies. I cleaned inside, outside, behind, up, under, and turned around and realized that I never hit record. So this is me showing you it's clean now, <laughs> but I never filmed it. So yeah, you could already tell that I was over it and I was already tired and um, I still had a long ways to go. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this TV down, get all that nice and clean and move on to the next project. It's okay. I work it all out. I go higher, higher, so I don't fall. Been the ones never going back now. I'm sorry, I'll never come down. But I look at myself at the end of the night. I try to dig deep, but I find got a pull in between. But I take. Now that we've got everything vacuumed, it is time for me to start shampooing the carpet. And <laughs> I actually shared this on my Instagram story just a little bit ago while I was editing. And I know what happened. I bumped the door. So Bodhi saw his opportunity to escape. And I was like, uh, no, sir, you cannot be out here while the carpet's wet. <laughs> so <laughs> I felt so bad because you can see his little face in there the whole time <laughs> just watching. But you guys know how he is. I cannot have him out there because he's just going to walk all over it and it's just going to be pointless for me to clean. But let me tell you something about Bodie. So if um, the only thing I have sitting right there is that clothes hamper, like if he wanted out, he could get out. He just doesn't know it or know how. So when we first got him, of course, he was in a little kennel and he was perfectly fine in there, but he quickly, quickly grew. So we ended up getting one of those um, it's kind of like a kennel, but it's also just like a fence that you can put like connect together into like an octagon or whatever. And it, there's no top on it. So that's what we had for the longest time. And we kept it in the kitchen. If you've been here for a while, you probably remember that. But, um, all he ever wanted, like if he wanted to get out of that, all he had to do was just like walk and he would have moved it and he could have gotten out and he never did. So he's such a good boy. But yeah, I, I do see now what happened. I bumped the door with the cleaner and that's how he got out. But um, I got the stain out and everything looks so good. It smells so good. I truly just need to do this more often than I do uh, and I don't. Uh, actually, we just need hardwood floors in here. <laughs> That's what we need. Um, so I know that I had mentioned just a little bit ago that we were thinking about painting. And I think Ruben and I have both agreed that we, we just kind of want to paint everything white just to have that clean feel in here. And that's what we were going for the last time. And we, we actually just wanted this to be like a light gray color in the house. But the more I look at it, 
it just kind of like has a blue tint to it and I don't like that. So I think we're just going to go white and just make everything all nice and clean and just open it up and make it look bigger. And that way it'll also give me the opportunity to patch all the holes that I've put in the walls over the last few years. So this is the nasty carpet cleaning dump. It was gross and disgusting, but this is what the carpet looks like now. I always love it when I shampoo the carpets, at least for that evening. It just looks and feels so stinking good in here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull everything back into the living room so I can go ahead and finally let Buddy out because it has dried and he's just been so good and patient by sitting in there and waiting for me to let him out. He always has to go and like sniff corner to corner just to make sure he hasn't missed something while he's been in that room. I swear I, I could just hug him to death. Backyard and you're all fine in the summer. Stayed every three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present, haven't been so happy ever. So as you can see, I've got everything put back in the living room. I went ahead and cleaned the entryway. I didn't really feel the need to fill a whole mop bucket just for that small space, so I used my Murphy's oil soap to go ahead and wipe that down. I got the rug out of the dryer, laid that back down, and everything just smells so good and it feels so good in here. As you can tell, it's already dark. I've spent all day doing this room, but I'm so glad that you came by today and spent some time with me. I hope it gave you tons of motivation. If it did give you motivation, let me know by just giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps helps me out and it really helps my channel out but make sure you come back for the next video I'm going to be doing the same thing to my kitchen it's going to be amazing but I'm going to go ahead and go Bodhi has been sitting here patiently waiting to go outside but I will see you in the next one I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you next time bye you so long. I'm watching you sit there with our best friends at the wedding